The fort to your right is the Stockade Redan, a massive earthen fortification that guarded the graveyard road entrance into the city of Vicksburg. If you take a short walk into the fort, you'll see this area of the battlefield from the Confederate perspective. On May the 19th, 1863, Major General William T. Sherman's 15th Army Corps advanced in typical battle array with man touching man, rank pressing rank, and line supporting line astride Graveyard Road. Down into the ravines fronting this work they poured. Here they encountered an obstruction of felled trees referred to as abati. It was the 19th century equivalent of modern day barbed wire. In addition to the abati, the Confederates had excavated large pits at the bottom of which they placed sharpened bamboo and cane and covered those pits with mats of dried grass. Thanks to these obstructions, the Union advance was thwarted long before it ever reached its objective, this fort. In preparation for the attack on May the 22nd, Sherman realized that this obstruction had to be avoided at all costs, but the only open avenue of advance was straight down the road itself. And on May 22nd, as 150 volunteers, dubbed the Forlorn Hope, preceded the infantry attack, their objective was to reach the ditch fronting this work, throw down bundles of cane that could quickly be planked over, throw scaling ladders against the wall, and the infantry in its advance could simply race down the road, over the ladders, over the top of this fort, and gain access to Vicksburg. But as the volunteers reached the ditch and threw down their bridging materials, they were shocked to see that there were no troops behind them. The order was never relayed to the troops to advance. But when the troops finally advanced, they managed to reach this fort, plant their flags on the exterior slopes of Stockade Redan, but here were driven back by bayonet. By day's end, all along this broad three-mile attacking front, Union soldiers were hur hurled back with a loss in excess of 3,000 soldiers. The siege of Vicksburg would begin in earnest.